The Dark Side of Poaching Yeah, this is exactly what it looks like. I'm not going to tell you exactly what's happening here, just know if I do what that elephant's doing to that rhino, guidelines might try to do to me. And like a lot of effery in the world, this is somehow our fault too. You see, thanks to poaching and habitat loss, we've done a number on the elephant community, which has caused a lot of elephant populations to become fragmented. What does that mean? Well, the elephants in areas high in poaching have started acting out aggressively. Turns out, it was the teenage elephants doing the most. Keep in mind when elephants go into must and their testosterone skyrockets, they become the most dangerous thing on four legs which can come at the expense of a rhino's entire way of life. To the point where three elephants were responsible for murking 63 rhinos in South Africa. They also did other things to the rhinos. And it wasn't just the rhinos, these elephants would also fade each other and charge at people. Researchers believe the constant poaching, intense competition, and broken up families caused chronic stress in the elephant population. Basically generational trauma causing them to do things like turn a rhino from a tight end to a whiteout. Also since poachers tend to go after older males, the younger teenage males have known to keep them in check. So they start walling. We know this because they didn't seem to calm down until a bunch of older bull elephants were introduced into the area. Oral of this video, junk in its trunk in the worst possible way. 